everyone. We're the two crafty Sheilas. I'm Belle. I've got Loz on the line with me. She's still feeling a little bit under the weather, so I'm going to play nice with her and I'm going to do most of the talking. Lucky to all our viewers out there, right? <laughs> yes, another unboxing for Diamond Art Club today. I recently got this one on a D stash and knowing that the US are still doing their Halloween autumn slash fall thing, I really wanted to do this kit. I've had my eye on it for ages. Um, so it's called After the Rain by Olha Derchuk. Sorry, I'll turn it this way so you can see it properly. But it's just a really pretty little kit. Um, it's gorgeous. It's, it's a 51 and it is a round diamond. So hopefully this should move fairly quickly for me. Although I haven't noticed. I'm doing a lot of round kits at the moment. I'm so, you know, that I go through phases where I seem to do lots of squares and then lots of rounds. So I tend oh. to do that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So right, we get our my favorite toolkit. My favorite toolkit. Um, okay. So first of all, we get our little um, logbook sticker sheet that we can put either on the end of our box or in our logbook or wherever you'd like to stick it without being rude. But we're not going there. Um, and then in, <laughs> in our toolkit, this is the one where you get all the really cool little extra. So we get our bag of baggies. So that's not too bad. We're back in the older kits, therefore they were probably a bit more generous at that stage. Um, <laughs> look at that cute little flower. Oh, I've got a couple of them. They're lovely. Have you got this pink and coloured one? No, I've got the one? no, I've got a green and a pink, I think I've got. Yeah. Well, these, for anyone who's new to this sort of part of the craft, it's a cover minder. So as you saw, there was two little magnets, one glued onto the back of this and then one free one. Uh, when you're working on your canvas, you can cut back a section and peel back that plastic cover and then you can basically put, the free magnet on the underside of it and you pop this one over the top and it will hold back that plastic bit of cover so you can work on your glue without getting your hands all over it or having anything else stick to it so it's quite a handy little thing we've got our awesome tray it's a good size tray especially for anyone who's sort of new to the craft and hasn't gotten to um, buying all the extra bonuses lost and squishy um and with a little tray stopper uh, in there as well. I'm really sorry, guys. I am recording outside and the winds decided to pick up. Amazing. Is that <laughs> right cool? Yep. <laughs> so we get our lovely glitter pen. So this one's a black one. I don't have too many of the black ones. Mm. Um, and we get a matching squishy to go with it. That's actually not too hard to get on there. Um, just as a pen grip, make it a little bit easier for you to hold. Um, you've got your single placer on this end and Diamond Art Club always give you a four and a seven placer as well of the really, really nice thin multi-placer. We've got our little caddy of wax with two, um, what are these called? Wax plates. Plates of wax. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, so really, really cute. Diamond Art Club um, wax is actually quite a good wax. So if you're someone who doesn't like to go down the, the path of the putties, the wax is really, really quite good anyway. Um, just remember that it's got a sticky cover on the top and on the bottom, so make sure you remove both before you try and use it in your pen. And the last one, which is always my favourite, the washi tape. Oh, so, I've got that one. I think I've used it. I've used that one already. That one feels like a spring one than an autumn one, though, I will say. So I might not use it for this particular kit, but that is really, really pretty. It is so pretty. I think it goes a bit translucent, too. Ooh, even better. Even better. All right. I'm going to make sure I put this back in the box so that I can go everywhere. <laughs> Okay, so we get a dust cover bag, which is branded with Diamond Art Club. Do what makes you sparkle. And then let's have a look at this beautiful, beautiful kit. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, wow, the reds. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. 
picture that like there was it was the bright red umbrella and the bright red cloak or jacket that was sort of yeah. over the top so, or blanket or scarf maybe maybe it's a scarf um so i knew there was going to be a real pop of red but that's more than i thought that's quite yeah. nice especially in the ground gorgeous yeah. we don't get autumn like that do we no Not at all. Well, you, know, you know that if you're down in like victoria tasmania mm. area you do and i know like the no, south yeah. island of new zealand does so we're yeah. just in the wrong area but i can live vicariously through my diamond painting <laughs> and try and go on really expensive holidays because that's the only way we're going to get it hey yeah that's it, hey. <laughs> all right so what else we get in our kit is we get a little how to um, guidebook with a little thank you from the owner so it's all about what's included in your kit um, if you've made a purchase through uh, Diamond Art Club you can join their VIP Facebook page there's a QR code for how to instructions um, as well as step by step instructions there another discount code tips and tricks and if you want to download the app um, you can get a discount on your first purchase through the app as well okay there's also the logbook sticker so you can add the start and end date another look at that beautiful image oh i love that um so it's around it's a 61 by 51 centimeter and all of our lovely pre-cut stickers so there's 40 colors in this and being one of the older ones it doesn't have any of the other special drills other than a couple of ab's but there are two ab's here um so in up until very very recently for diamond art club anything with a number under 150 is an ab they've now started to go more with the standardized nomenclature which means that they're now naming them as whatever dmc color ab but the older ones you're still going to see these these sorts of coding in there too so it looks like a really pale green and maybe one of the brighter yellows interesting right. look at the color so with your drill pack you do get it listed with a sticker on there so if you do keep your drills separate to your canvas you will be able to find them easily oh. look at that color palette that is incredible it's very fall isn't it very autumn very very autumn all right all right let's very quickly go through it oh there's a little one on its little lonesome 666 of, of course, course there's going to be some <laughs> all right oh look at that oh hello we got a loose oh, one love that color more reds more yellows and oranges brown we get a few purples it's going to be interesting 606 not surprising if there's 666 there's usually 606 and more purples Two bags of the 740. Right, right, isn't it? It's not going to be it like is. subtle at all. No, it. I was a bit worried it was going to be a bit dark and dreary, but I don't think it is. We've got <laughs> no. the one bag of one, one bag of 3371. That's more brown. Oh, and this is our first AB. All right. Oh, so I figured you might like the first bright yellow. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Um, so with an AB. <laughs> you can see that it's got a, an extra special coating on it which is sort of reflecting a few different colors not just the yellow and um, so it's designed to sort of look more like the aurora borealis or the northern lights so quite a pretty one all right we got some grays brown one bag of 310 but not tons of it that's workable yeah, that's nice and it, it looks for a change like not heaps of static i've had some really bad static kits of late so Looks like there's only a tiny bit in there, but it's not too bad. Trash wise. Actually, trash wise, it doesn't look too bad. They've got nice flat bottoms. I'm not seeing too many misshapen ones. So I think we might be pretty good with this one. Only time will tell, but so far, so good. Um, oh, that's a really pretty, sort of like a pinky red, purpley red. I like that. Gray. P uh, cream or grey, light grey cream, and a maroon colour. Nice. And our last cream. These are all already our skinnier bags, so we're getting into the smaller colours. Nice bit. Oh, that three or seven will be nice. That's Beautiful. Pretty. Three hundred. More purple. The top colour. Pale yellow. 
bright purple. I like that bright purple. That's a nice one. More of like a burnt oranges, a pale yellow, and then, oh, there's our second and final AB. So really, really pale yellow. So bright yellow and a pale think, yellow. Yeah, that is gorgeous. I like it that. Is, that one always sends out a beautiful, beautiful colour with that one. I, I think I've got that one in the one I'm doing at the moment. Yeah, 129, I am. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it is nice. That's a really good colour. Uh, we've got grey, burnt orange again. We've got brown, darker grey. A really dark purple. That's nice. I haven't seen too much of 333. That's no, quite nice. I don't think I have either. That's pretty. Hmm. Colour. Browns, greys, and a cream technician. So that's a nice set of colours. Mm. All right. And it's not so dark, is it? It's it's you've got some nice colours to sort of make it feel like it's dark and dreary, like you said before. It's Yeah. I mean, you know, there's definitely gonna be little sections where it's gonna be a bit darker, but I mean at the same time it's it's autumn. Kind autumn, of yeah. you know, you're gonna have the early sunset and things. Yeah. Not here in central Queensland, because central Queensland it's basically <laughs> sun up and sun down at the same time all year round, isn't it? Really by yeah, about now. <laughs> Yeah, same here. It's horrible. <laughs> it's it's pretty standard. It's pretty boring, really. It's just the heat that changes. Yeah. Um. Okay. So let's have a quick look at where our ABs go. So the first one was that really, really pale yellow. So that's number one two nine, which is symbol one. So I can see there's a couple of just like little sections on what it looks like is the back of that chair. Oh. Yeah, well, that'll be the sun. The back of the chair where the sun hits it, that's what I'm thinking. Um, so, yeah, so just sort of sporadically through there. Oh, and, of course, oops, sorry, guys, um, up where the lights are on. So it's sort of going to be the glow around the lantern. Oh, sorry. Yeah, bring yeah. it down a bit. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah, so just around the glow of the, the lanterns, um, they're all ones. So that'll be pretty. Oh, that'll be pretty. Yeah. Perfect. Um, and then the second one was that bright yellow. Um, and again, it's it's gonna be where the sun or the moonlight or the, the lantern light is gonna be hitting it. So a little bit around the edges of the, the bottom of the lantern, but it's actually gonna be up on some of the leaves. Um, so like that was a reasonably big bag. Like wherever you're seeing that really, really bright yellow, there's two colours. There's a half of them would be basically half of them would be that AB, and the other one was that really bright yellow that I made the comment of in the normal drills, 307. Um, so there's sort of like, you know, a couple of drills of each the whole way through. So you could you could technically multi-place, but you're gonna be looking at like a two or a three placer for multi-placing. Yeah. Um, because they're just gonna be alternating between them. So it's that whole area wherever you're seeing that bright yellow. That's that's incredible. That's really going to start to shine. So even like up in the top section, yeah, see even all the way up here, through here and down here. It's just oh, beautiful. Not just down the bottom. Again, I'm not really surprised. There's a little patch of it here and here, which I'm wondering is like near the – oops, sorry, just hit the camera. Um been like a bit of I don't know, rain or puddles or something from the look of that. It looks a little bit darker there. So I'm wondering if that's almost like a reflection from the rain. Oh, that'd be, mm. yeah. Yeah. That's pretty. That's, that'd be nice. That'd be your greys. Mm. Yes. Definitely. Okay. I didn't know this. I haven't even gone around the canvas. Oh, my God. I'm so excited to do this one. Sorry, guys. So... <laughs> I will say, so with Dining Art Club, up the very, very top, you have the caption. So do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. You do get one lot of legends on the side and you do get a little um, thumbnail of the image as well as all of the copyright information. So this is copyrighted between Ola Darchuk. Darchuk. <laughs> Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, and then it just means that at least private art club have paid Ola 
star truck for her piece. So she's being fairly compensated, which I think is always important. We've got our social details and then we've got information about our lifetime warranty if we are the original purchaser. Because I got this on a D-slash, I don't get to claim that. But that's okay. I can make it work if something happens. We do get a second lot of a legend. I do just want to point out, it's obviously printed off, off the side. That is this yeah. one is not particularly straight for this cut, which is unusual for Diamond Art Club. That's very, very unusual, isn't it? I mean, it's not the end of the world. I can, I can still see it. Everything's on there. I've got a legend on the other side. I've got the legend on my sticker. So it's not the under, end of the world, but I, it is interesting. That's unusual for them. Yeah. But anyway, that's about all I've got for you today, guys. Um, it was just a really cute little kit that I'm keen to get back into. So hopefully you might see that in a whip and chat maybe coming up soon. If Loz and I can stay healthy and coordinate time together, we will definitely yeah. work on that. Um, but we'll see Sorry, what we can do. Life, life happens, Loz. We, we know that. We have. Um, so if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you like this kit, um, let me know in the comments below how you found it because it just wasn't quite exactly what I was expecting, but I am looking forward to doing it. Um, so, yes, yeah, so give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in a video very soon. Take care, guys. See you soon. See you later. Thank you.